<laughs> okay, well, so we're back for a new year and then um, I do want, want to make sure that I do more standing. So at the, at the minimum, the second part will do the standing. But, uh, you know, we try to, I'll, I'll start teaching you uh, the warm up. The warm up, I like seated and standing, but I'll start teaching you more of both. Right, yeah. Okay. All right, so hands up, take a nice deep breath. Oh, and extend your legs. Extend your legs all the way out first. Yeah. And imagine, just imagine your spine stretching and opening. Take a deep breath and slowly come down. Just relax. Okay. Slowly walk your feet back and just where it touches the ground, that's where you want it. Okay, so we want, we want our feet in front of our knees. We're breathing in and out. And we covered so many things by the end of last year. So we just slowly repeat them and remind, remind you about uh, what, what I consider important important parts of the different principles. The main thing is to relax, sung, called sung or song, relax. And what we want to do is we want to relax while we're doing the movement. So while we're stretching and expanding, you have to learn how to relax. Breathe in from the earth, sink your feet into the earth. Imagine you pulling the energy up through the body, through the back, over the top of the head down the front of the body, back into the earth. Feet slowly press into the Relax the hip, relax all the muscles. Imagine you flowing that energy in the bone, stimulate the bone marrow, washing out through the joints. Imagine the bones getting stronger, they're alive, as you stimulate the bone marrow, you're stimulating blood production. And sink the air down to your lower belly. Come up from the side, eyes looking far away. Imagine looking way out at the mountaintop while you breathe in and out. As you gather, you're looking far away and out. One more time, breathing in. Out and let all the joints move, let the body move. Turn the body, turn the head. And out, scooping down. Imagine filling up with all the muscle tissue, with the energy, with blood. Exhale. Squeeze and slowly let go. And then fill up the bones. Bring the bones out, squeeze and twist the bones. Slowly let go. And ligaments and tendons. Deep breath. Bring everything back to center. Right down through your body, look straight ahead. Spine is straight. The head is suspended. Relax the hips and slowly feet into the earth. So reset the legs, right? Come out from here first on the heels. Sit nice and straight but comfortable. And then slowly walk them back. And just where you feel them touch the ground, stop. Your toes will be lifted up a little bit at this point. So then gently press your toes down, press your feet down and gently press your legs into the earth. And relax the hips. Okay? And then remember the importance of these joints. Right? Sinking into the hip joint and then sinking into the shoulder joint, right? activating these muscles. Yeah, and then look at your legs. Try and keep your legs straight, in a straight line. Okay? And when we, when we sit, your feet in a straight line. When we stand, it's going to come out more. But when we sit, I want you to try and keep it in a straight line and work in your alignment. Right? And as we do the exercises, look at your legs and are they bowing out or are they coming in? 
So while we do this, you try and hold it in that straight line, relax but stretching to try and correct imbalance. You know, give it a chance to correct and recognize it. Right? We, we don't know, right? We, we don't know when our, our legs are coming in, our legs are coming out because we live with it every day, right? That becomes natural. But then we're like, oh, why do my knees hurt? And how come I can't get up? Or like, why can't I bend down? And right? we go to a physical therapist and they say, hey, stop bending your knees <laughs> in and out, right? <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> so yeah, take a look at it and see what it feels like. And then while we do the warm-ups and drills, kind of take a look and is it doing this and become conscious of it. You have to become conscious of it to correct it. Yeah. And then the rest of the day, you, we just let it go. But when we do this directed practice, that's the time to um, notice these things and try and fix them. Okay. So hands at the side, take a deep breath. Fill the lower belly and exhale. Yeah, relax this. Put your mind right in the lower belly when you breathe in and open the throat. Use the ha sound and ha. Tilt the sternum up, relax, drop the shoulders. Yeah, expand this, okay? Open the palms nice and big, facing forward. And as you breathe in, drop the shoulders and start picking up the hands, just like you're washing the face. Breathing in. Relax and exhale and tilt the sternum just a little bit and down, just dropping the head. And relax, let everything go while you turn the palms. And again, yeah, see, I can feel my knees wanting to, wanting to get lazy and pull to the outside. Tilt the sternum and down. You don't have to push out too far. Good. Let the wrist go, finish the breath, and then begin again, breathing in. Look far away, look way out to the mountain top. And exhale, the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Relax the neck. So you can just, you can just feel it starting to pull on the spine. So warming up the neck, but starting to warm up the spine gently. As you drop the head, and imagine it's pulling all the way down to the tailbone. One more time. Just like washing, and exhale, and down. Okay, number two, one hand up, one hand down. This hand, the height of the face, right, a little higher. So the center of the palm is about the height of the nose. If you want to measure from the second finger, we say second finger, second line, eye level, right at this height. Right? So it's, it's high. This hand, just let it drop and relax. Yeah, and then as we turn, we breathe in and we look at the upper hand. You finish the breath, you're ready to exhale. The hand comes up from the elbow, washing up through the forearm. And right as the palms pass, you start breathing in. Just drop the lower hand. Finish your move, finish your breath. Right? Don't rush. Take an extra breath if you have to. Go at your own pace, your own speed. You want to feel continuous movement in both palms, in your head. First, train the eyes just to look at the hands. And then slowly you start looking in between the thumb and the forefinger. And when you can look between the thumb and the forefinger, you can scan the horizon and look at the top. Come back to center. Hold the ball height of the throat. Breathing in. Expand the lower belly and out. One more time. No restrictions in the throat. Your throat is your voice. No restrictions in your voice. Third time. Feel your shoulder blades moving. And 
dropping forward and down and then moving to our shoulder joints. Just squeeze the shoulder joints together. Try to make them touch and then pull them up. Turning the palms the whole time and forward and down. Focus just on the inside lower corner of each shoulder blade. Trying to move only that one little point of the shoulder. All the way down and turn the palms out and come forward. And the whole time you're still pressing the legs gently into the earth, relaxing the hip. But imagine the legs are sinking into the earth. Yeah, rotate the palms. One more time. Pull the shoulder blades down. Feel the muscles under the shoulder blades and by the collarbone, stretching and squeezing. Relax a little bit, yeah, finish the move, and then do one side. Relax the other arm and just do one side, left or right. Don't worry about left or right because we're going to do two sides. Same thing, just focus on the inside lower corner of the shoulder blade. Let the head turn, let the body turn. Yeah, manipulate that shoulder blade. The feet are still pressing into the earth, gently. Come forward, pull the shoulder blade forward. If your body's turning, you feel the hips, the hips moving, you feel the legs and the knees moving a little bit. You feel the ankle has to move to accommodate for the turn. Finish this one, stretch all the way down, and then relax, and do the other side. Still have to sink the air down. Let the body turn, let the head turn. Pull the shoulder blade forward and then come forward, slowly come back. All the way down. Relax a little bit and then two sides back and up and turn the palms down and then forward, pull them forward and all the way down and relax. Yeah, loose circles, just shake it out, yeah, feel the shoulders shake it out, okay, and then slow it down okay, and then put it back together with the breath, so breathing in. Right, just the height of the face and exhale. Turn the palms the whole time. Breathe in and out. The legs are sinking into the earth. The body starts to turn and leave the hands right in the center. So one hand comes in, one hand comes out as your body turns and looks straight to the front. in and out and both feet still connected to the earth as you turn so the ankle has to flex a little bit one last time and then let everything go okay and then we're going to stand for a little bit we'll do this on standing and get the get the whole leg now all of these you can stand or seat yeah so it's up to you okay so just a comfortable stance and one of the things I like to do when I'm standing and we're doing these kind of exercises I like to lift and then sink right and don't have to go real low right? but just starting to warm up all the joints and starting to warm up the muscles but when you come up on your heels it might not seem like a lot 
but if we were to do like half an hour just non-stop on the heels oh you're all gonna go home and tomorrow morning you're gonna wake up and like oh my calf muscles i can't walk <laughs> and you don't realize how many repetitions you're doing yeah and i do it with the breath and the other thing that happens is when you stand and we're doing the qigong is your body will come forward and back right? don't try to like just lock your body let your body sway so all the joints have to move so you're going to feel your body wanting to sway it comes forward just recenter it comes back just recenter right you want the joints moving you want the energy moving you want the breath moving so that's one of the things with the with the qigong when we do these kind of exercises let the body have that natural sway that natural vibration let it come out it's like a slow, slow vibration. Okay, so as we move to the spine, we hold the ball. Right? So sink a little bit, and then separate. Okay? Keep the palms in the center, right? and then we're going to rise a little bit, and shoulder blades just a little bit, and try to pull the shoulder blades evenly. Right? You're going to feel this side stretching, and then you're going to feel this side stretching down. Palms right in the center and just breathing naturally. And then relax the hip, relax the lumbar. Try to let everything go. And stretch a little bit more so your heels can come up just a little bit. Relax the calf muscle. Take a deep breath and expand. And then when you're ready, exhale. And now you can sink a little bit, wash through the forearm. And imagine the heat of the palm washing through the forearm. And we warm up the other side. Right? Shoulder blades, stretch the shoulder blades in the front. Stretch the shoulder blades up and down. Relax the hip. Sink the breath down. Relax every vertebrae. And then take a deep breath and expand and exhale let everything go remember to wash through the forearm breathe in finish the breath feel the shoulder blade stretching and exhale when you're ready so if you let your body come up and down you're going to have a little bit of a pumping action through your body you're going to start warming up every muscle every joint in your body just take your time let the lower hand drop all the way down so you feel that stretch going through the shoulder blade stretch your fingers stretch your fingertips and exhale do one more time Turn the upper palm back and drop the elbow down and turn the body. And then come down and wash the outside of the arm. And then turn the body and lift and fall. And the upper palm turns out. And turn, 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 turn. Expand the shoulder blades and take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Turn the body. And then inhale where the palm passes and lift and fall by the belly button and turn out. And breathe in on the wind up and exhale and drop that elbow right in the center. And then turn. So this one, there's a lot of spirals just constantly turning and winding up and then letting go, releasing. And then winding up right here and then releasing and then winding up and breathing in and then releasing and exhaling come straight down and then winding up and breathing in and exhaling come back to center this time height of the heart right sternum is up relax Open your throat as you breathe in and out and expand the lower belly. 
Remember to think of that little sun in the chest, right? Warm and cool and putting out energy to the whole body. And then turn the palms up and down like cradling the ball. And gently turn towards the upper elbow and expand, breathing in. And exhale, let it go. Turn the palms. All right, and then breathe in and rise a little. And exhale. So same turning, but a little gentler than in the previous one. Breathe in. Let the waist, the head turn. The body can still pump up and down, can rise a little and then sink. And one more time, breathe in and rise a little and sink. And last time, rise a little and sink. Okay. Solo plex. Right. You stand comfortably and breathe in and out and tilt your sternum up. Look straight ahead, look far away. Nothing in your way. Right. Everything gets deflected in front of you. Yeah. And then slowly down. All right. So the leg uh, we're going to do both. I'm going to teach you the, we're going to do the standing, but I love the seated on this because the seated treats this real differently and the seated just yes, develops this differently. Yeah, yeah. So, so the standing, right, the hand comes up, I'm going to breathe in and exhale. And you imagine like you're just pressing against a wall, like you gently pressing and then Breathing in and out, that's the hand. Okay. So as the hand lifts up, you take a small step back and then you exhale and you pick the knee up and stretch the heel out, pull the toe back and then you pick the knee up and small step back. Yeah. Don't make it large, just small is enough. Right. Yeah. And look straight up, try to keep the sternum up and out. Right. So, and we're trying to loosen up the hips. Right. So, so don't let the hands go too high. Right. Just, just a little bit, and down. Right. Just a little bit, and down. Right. So, do the other leg. Right. So, breathe in, and out. Take your time. Finish the breath. Breathe in, and out, and in, and out. And in and out and one more time in and out okay and then bring the hands rest the hands on the side okay you can take a small step forward with one foot and shift to the front and the opposite hand presses straight out at the same time and then sit on the hip come back Put all your weight on this hip and try to pick your leg straight up and then bring it in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, get that. Ah. There it goes. Ah, I don't step in on it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, one leg and the opposite hand and look straight up, right? Lift the sternum and then sit on the hip, come back. And then slowly try to pick the leg up. Take your time and stand and then shift. Do the other leg. Find the ground. And as you're coming forward, the hands. The hand and the leg, you're trying to get together. Work together. When you step out. Okay. So when you step out right here, sink. Keep the back foot flat on the earth. Heel and toe flat on the earth and then push the knee back so the back of the leg stretches okay. and then put your mind right in the hip come all the way back and pick the knee straight up while you're picking up the leg remember you have to sink into this hip right the whole time 
So we have to reacquaint ourselves with that hip joint. Right? Foot is flat. Yeah. Straight up. And take your time coming down and one more time. And back. So then the next one, understanding, is um, the first one, foot on the ground, the, and then the second one is not touching the, the ground, right? So don't take a big step. Doesn't matter if it's this much off the ground. If it's off the ground, all the weight has to be on the other leg, yeah? And relax, sink into the hip joint, relax, okay? Well, basically the same thing, but pick up and off the ground, yeah? So not touching. So you try to stand on one leg if you can. If you need to touch, just the heel touch. Right? Put as much, much weight on standing as one leg. Right? If you can pick up your leg high, great. If you cannot pick up your leg high, great. <laughs> if you want to do it seated, great. Right? And then pump, then lift, and down. Yeah? The main thing is we don't want any pressure on the knee. Yeah. Yeah. And then pump and lift. And last time. Okay. And then you hold the ball. Right? And then heel and toe. So lift straight up and down and you gotta sink all your weight into the hip right don't have to take a big step you just want to flex the ankle but hold the ball hold the ball at the heart remember the sun in the chest okay. and then stand and do the other side yeah. and pick straight up right sink everything into that standing legs sink everything into that hip the more you can sink into the hip, and we switch. And this time, small toe, big toe, right? So side to side, right? You put everything into that, that hip, holding that there, and the other leg will, will be light. Yeah. One more time and switch. Yeah. Yeah. And pick the knee straight up and flex. Yeah. Just take your time. Okay. And then pick your knee straight up and gently pound it out. Yeah. Okay. Find, find your chair before you sit down. Don't be like me and think the chair is right behind me. Okay. So, um, right, this is one that we do, right? The up and down. Okay, that, that one that's stepping in and out, that, that came from figuring out this one. But you're going to see that, oh, it's a little bit different. Right? And the way I've developed it, it's really going to work the leg. Right? So the feet are in. Right? Rest, resting first. Right? And then just practicing right? shoulders. It's the shoulder blades, shoulder drops. And guiding the chi back into the earth and letting it go. Let everything go, release. And then again, breathing in, pull the chi up from the earth. Legs are just resting. Drop the shoulder blades and down. So if you can get the legs just to rest as you pull the chi up, you might feel your legs sink. And then when you pump the chi down, you might feel your legs release. It's really subtle. These are really subtle things. If you don't feel it, don't worry. Right? It's happening, but if you don't feel it, it's usually just because you still have too much tension or you're fighting right? or you're just focusing on something else, but it's actually going on. And then if you feel something, you usually don't believe it first because <laughs> right? it's subtle. It's, oh, I'm just imagining it. But after a while you realize, oh no, it's consistent. And when I do this move and I breathe this way, it's consistent. That's when I feel it, okay? So when you pull the chi up, right? You're displacing the chi around you. So it's, 
it's uh, physics, right? It's, it's uh, like pneumatics, right? You pull the chi up, the outside, the chi around you flows down. Your legs are resting, so it just flows through your legs, right? It pulls your legs down. You pump the chi into the earth, it displaces the earth chi. So the chi that's rising in your earth, through your legs, releases. And that's why you might feel that real subtle, like you'll just sink and then they'll rise. It's, it's like playing with a pneumatic hose or something. Yeah? Okay. But when we do the exercise, we're going to start by pressing both legs into the earth. And then sinking into one hip and the other side will release. Okay. So start by pressing both feet into the earth and then sink into that hip, hip joint. And then when this leg releases, then we begin straight up and step forward and down and then press the front leg into the earth and then sink into the back hip so the back leg can release and down. Okay. And then press the back leg, press, press, and then sink into the hip joint. Every time you sink into the hip joint, then the other leg can release. Whatever leg is pressing, contacting the earth, press it into the earth. And just breathe naturally. So you have to press and then sink into the hip joint. Pick up the knee as high as you comfortably can. That means relaxing the upper body. It takes a lot of focus to sink and hold this into the hip joint and then switch and then hold it into the hip joint and then switch. And the bottom of the foot that's, that's touching, you want the bottom of the foot flat. And the very bottom of the foot, you want it relaxed. Okay. And just come back to center. Oh, this is the one I forgot. I don't know why I'm always forgetting this one. Just drop one knee and turn and reach. Drop the other knee and turn, turn your waist and reach. This is for the hip. If you want, you can take a step with the foot. Right? You could just take a step and then turn. Open up the hip. Do one more each, each side. So, even if I do standing, I, I just don't like to give up that other one, yeah? So if you stand now, and want to review this hip joint, the same principle of what we just did. Right? So, you know, with, with of underarm, not too wide. With of underarm, if you swing your hands, right, you just brush. If it's too wide, you swing your hands, right, you hit your leg. So with the underarm, and then put your, put your fingers, press into this joint, right? And then press in, press in, and that's where you have to activate. So it's not the joint, it's inside of the joint, right? So you stand straight, you sink, relax both legs. Imagine both legs heavy, relax the hip, and see if, imagine tucking the tailbone and swiveling the hip forward. Right? And then let, you let the whole body sink. We have a tendency to back on our heels. Right? And that throws off our balance, right? So you want the bottom of the feet relaxed, comfortable looking forward, hips relaxed. And if you feel yourself rocking back, then the whole body rocks forward until you have that flat foot feeling. Okay? So, so rise. And put your fingers right here. This is to help you, to force you to bend and to bring your mind to this fold. This, this, this hip fold is really important. So relax the legs and then push 
and then don't fight, right? And then just, where's your weight? If it's on back of the heel, you have to adjust forward a little bit. If it's too far forward, you have to come back a little bit. Okay? And then let everything go, relax. Yeah? Relax the bottom of the foot, right? Keep, adjust where's that center balance, and then relax and rise. So if you relax and rise, your foot will naturally press against the earth while you expand. And then just kind of shake it out okay, and then try it again. So in between the, the reps, you shake it out, release the muscles. Otherwise, they're, they're holding on to that last exercise. So here, relax and then bend, relax the bottom of the foot, legs are heavy. And then right here, imagine pressing both feet into the earth, but the bottom of the foot is relaxed. So adjust this muscle. And imagine the hip joint expanding and pressing downward, but the bottom of the foot is relaxed. Yeah. And then rise and come up a little bit and let it go. Okay, and then shake it out. Okay. So a little bit wider stance now. And then we're going to practice that feeling of sinking into the hip joint to release one leg when we're doing seated. Okay. So, Relax and sink. It's so what we call double weight. Right? And then imagine heavy, 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 heavy. Bottom of the feet relax. And then pour that over into one leg. Right? So one leg is pressing. You can feel this getting stronger, this getting lighter. And then sink into this joint. And then sink inside and then sink down activate that muscle flex that muscle and when this leg when you flex this hundred percent this is going to release so you hold this hold this down while you pick up this leg a little bit and then put it down okay? get it to release completely off the floor and then shift it to the other side center and then sink you press this leg and then sink into this hip joint and as you sink, this side will release. And then hold this, you have to hold this. And then just slowly shifting one side to the other, then center, and then press, and then pour into the other side. And then sink, so you have to fold. Flex this muscle, hold that there. Right? And do a few more times shifting back and forth. Yeah? But sink into here, right? sink into that hip joint. Yeah, just hold it. Yeah, sink into that hip joint. Yeah, there. And then this side will release. And you just have to hold that. Yeah. And you have to fight that urge. You have to fight that urge when you're coming down to do this. You have to let, let yourself just, just relax and fold into here. Even if you feel like you crouched a little bit, if you're holding into here, even if I'm crouched a little bit, I'm actually centered. I'm actually balanced. Yeah. So you have to change, you have to change your um, perspective of where that balance is. Right? The balance doesn't come from doing this. <laughs> oh, you, so you have to hold this as... On that one leg yeah. for about how long? Oh, well, you hold it as long as the other leg is free. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, but that can be a variable? Or yeah, yeah, it's totally variable, right? Not, if, not, so if, if you're walking... Seconds or no, if you're walking, if you're walking fast, right? If I'm doing the exercise fast, then it's shorter. Right. So it's the... Yeah, it's hold... You have to hold here the whole time this leg is free. So this muscle will really hurt no, not not if not not if you not if you go into this joint. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. It's going to exercise a little bit. But you can really feel it. Yeah, you can feel it starting to activate. But as you sink into here, right, it, it'll go it'll transfer from this muscle, the 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 center of the thigh, it'll start transferring into the hip, into the joint. Yeah. It these, these are not overnight, right? Because you have to change your perspective and change your feeling yeah, and be willing to fold, hold that. So, yeah, it's just, you're sinking into here, relaxing the upper body, but 
it's sinking into here. You see how I fold when I really commit to that? And this leg is free. This leg comes really light. And then I shift. And then I press. And then I sink into this fold and it pulls my knee back. When I fold into here, right, if I sink down and I'm pressing, my knee is here. But when I fold into here and I really press into here, it pulls my knee back. So it corrects my knee. So is the object of that to bend this knee as much as you can to get it? Not bending the knee, bending the hip joint. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So your whole body is going to come forward. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And then once you get it, right? So in the beginning, even if I have, even if I have to do like this, right? If I'm sinking into here, I'm actually balanced. But then I can start changing my posture. But if I change my posture and I let this joint open, then I lose that balance. But if I sink into here, right, and I make this the priority, and then slowly, slowly correct my posture, but not let this go. Yeah. And it's not an easy thing, and, and there's self-discovery. There is self-discovery at that point. And, but um, what I'll do is I'll keep the knee from coming forward. That's where the knee pain comes in. As the knee comes forward, the pressure shoots this way. So the knee has to stay back. If the knee stays back, then the thigh muscle is working. Yeah. yeah. And if you sink into this hip joint, then it just presses all the way down. Yeah. So these joints, the hip joint and the shoulder joint, are very important. They're like secrets. Yeah. I'm not teaching you the secret, I'm just telling you it's important. The real secret is all the mechanics and things, yeah. But yeah, the more you sink into here, and relax, yeah, you'll, get, you'll get that. So just try that a few times. You, if you want, you can walk forward and back and same thing, or just side to side, but just practice sinking and holding that, yeah. And let your body, let your body, lack of a better term, kind of hunch down, keep your spine straight. Yeah, try to keep your body upright. So you can, you can fold like this, but you don't want to, you don't want to throw your hip out. You don't want to um, go side, sideways, yeah? So you want your body straight. Even if you're folding, it's still straight this way, yeah? And then straighten out, right? And then sink on this side. Just put your mind 100% into that joint. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so give it up and sink, the, yeah, like that. Yeah. So you have, to, you have to change however you reacted before, right? If you're 50, that's 50 years of doing it one way, right? If you're 70, that's 70 years of doing it one way. If you're 80, that's 80 years of doing it one way. You're not going to change that overnight. That's automatic, right? You don't even know you're doing it. That's automation, yeah? Okay, so, so from here, right, just sink down, right? Put your mind into here and then sink. And then shift to one side. You can feel this muscle activate. And then sink into here and then the heel will lift, right? And then you can step right, and hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. Now transfer, right? Press, press. You can feel this muscle and then sink into that hip joint. And as soon as you sink into the hip joint, that heel lifts up. Yeah. And that's what you're looking for. If you, if you commit to there, the other leg becomes neutrally buoyant. So whatever you do, all of a sudden, wow, I can do anything. This leg feels really light if I'm sinking into the other side. Yeah, it's a real interesting thing. Okay, shake it out. Shake it out. Is it normal that one side is easier, has more balance oh, yeah. than the other? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're right-handed, left-handed, right? We have our preference. Yeah. So the nice thing about these exercises is they're, they're um, symmetrical. They're, so we, we do two sides, yeah. And so I don't care, you start left or right. And it's because some people automatically mirror, some people automatically don't mirror. So yeah, it doesn't matter for me in here. We, we're not doing demonstration, we're not doing... We're not doing marijuana, <laughs> right? 
there's no whip like hey you're out of sequence <laughs> this is for yourself yeah this is all for yourself if you're doing it and you don't look at me at all oh i love it because then 100 percent you're listening to your own body yeah Does that stretch or a question? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, have a seat. Have a seat. Yeah. Where are we? Okay. So extend the legs. Right. Slowly walk them back. All right. And just where they touch the ground, relax. They might have to come back a little. You make a small adjustment. Main the foot is in front of the, the knee. Okay. So Press, 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 press the toes down. Right? You feel everything activate and then press as much as you can, right? It's gonna start sliding. It's only so much. And then hold that stretch and slowly let go of the muscles, but hold that stretch. So start relaxing, but hold that stretch, right? So the habit is, is you hold the stretch, but if I say relax, everybody does this, right? You let go. So sung, sung is relaxing. And the whole idea of sung is you have to have sung while you're doing something. So if I'm expanding, but I let go of the muscles, I can expand more, right? So if you apply the intent of expanding, but release the joint, release the muscles, release, then it expands more. Right, so it's the, if I have that elastic thread and I have like little slip knots in there, right? And I'm pulling and I just tack it on the wall. Every time I take out a slip knot, it goes whoom, right? Because the intent is still to expand. So every time I say relax, you take out a slip knot, but the, you're still expanding, right? But our habit is, oh, relax. You let everything go and then take out the slip knot. <laughs> because... Right, when we try to untie knots, right, we have to relieve the tension, right? Yeah. The muscles are different, they're fibrous, they're not all twisted like this. We don't have to relax and unknot them. We have to stretch them and hold that stretch so the fibers eventually let go. Yeah. And then the joints let go. So if the joints are open and loose, that's what part of the principle, that's part of doing so. The joints are open and loose, there's less pain, there's more mobility, there's more energy flow, more blood flow, right? More electrical flow, right? Less tension, less injuries, right? Down here, all that pressure on our ankles and Achilles tendon all day long, we would never let it go, yeah? So, expand the feet, reach the toes down, and while you're expanding, learn to relax. Nice deep breath. Let the hips go, let the knees go, okay. but still pressing into the earth. The very bottom of the feet, nothing. The very bottom of the feet, totally relaxed. That's sinking and rooting. Yeah. And then the energy can flow up and down, right? And then if, then if you're doing that, right, and really gently, and then you're pulling the chi up and down, so you're sinking and pressing, but not, not like driving into the ground, just sinking to the ground. And you listen to the very bottom of your foot while you do this. You can just start to feel that real subtle change of energy, right? Because you're pumping the chi up and down, pulling chi up and down. Okay, all right, relax that. And then bring it back. So depending on what the training is, you could just like really expand or can be just really light, okay? Okay, so what we want is really light, right? Just expand, bring the hands up, breathing in, top of the head suspended, washing through our body with the center of the palm and the fingertips. As we breathe in, the throat is open, the lower belly expands and relaxes. Just rest the hands at the side of the body, take a deep breath, and then let it all go. And then slowly
slowly open the palms like holding a ball. Relax the shoulders and elbows. As you breathe in, pick up the hands, commencement. And then fold it in. Okay, this is the first move, bring it to the heart. Number two, roll it away, press it away and down. And that nice little ball of energy between your palms, bring it into your body. And then expand and relax back to the heart. Number three, open and close. Number four, single whip. Turn to your right, same side as me, and press towards the knee, and then open. But right here, start raising the palms to the height of the face. Okay, this is single whip. Turn a little bit more and drop the right hand. This is starting to one sal. In the hands exchange and turn. Relax the shoulders, drop the elbows. Keep the feet connected to the earth. Yeah. Try to turn all the way 45 degrees if you can. One sal, cloud hands. Keep the palms relaxed but stretched. Feel yourself turning right from the spine. Okay, come back to center, come back to the heart, hold the ball, turn a little bit to the left as you spiral back, right into an open and close, and then we repeat on your left side. So turn and press, and then open, start to open, raise the palm side of the face, Drop the left hand, keep on turning from single whip to one sow. This first one is a preparation. And then you start counting to three. But I always tell you, right, don't, don't worry about the exact counts. <laughs> I'm always losing count. The more you study the movement, right, you just, you just forget like, oh, how many times and you just do one more. So you notice how I'm following the upper palm with my eyes and elbows are bent, so not too far away. And then come back to center. Turn a little bit to the right as you spiral back and move right into an open and close. Stir them up. Okay. Then brushing the knee. So turn to your right and slide your right hand up while you turn height of the ear. Drop the palm and exhale and turn back to the front. Fingertips, then heel, and the bottom hand just sweeps to the side and lift the sternum. Turn a little bit more and drop the palms to center. Turn 45 to your right, let the knees swivel. Raise the left hand a little bit. Hu pipa, plane the pipa, and then cradle the ball. And then parry right. Right, wash the palm through the forearm, do the shooting palm and switch and parry or shooting palm left and we're going to turn back to center. The left hand's just going to flip over while you turn under the right wrist, wrist on top of wrist, make a plus sign. Breathe in and start to grab and when you exhale, squeeze the fist and let the right fist come forward while you're holding, keeping the left fist in. And then let everything go, palms in the center, wrist over wrist, rolling back, drop the shoulders, expand, gather, compress, lift the sternum, double palms pushing, release the wrist and draw the chi back to the heart, heart. Remember, heart is number one. And then repeat, brush knee on the left side. So turn and slide the left hand up by the ear, Breathe in, fingertips and exhale, brush the right knee, lift the sternum. Keep on turning and drop the palms to center. Turn 45 to the left, the right hand rises. Scoop to the right, left hand under, and shooting palm left. Vibrate the fingers, teach the palm and fingers how to vibrate and shake. 
one day they're just going to do it by themselves. Right palm flips over, like flipping over a pancake. Turn, 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 wrist on wrist. Breathe in and grab. Exhale and squeeze the fist while the left comes forward. Release, wrist in the center. Drop the shoulders and elbows, drawing back, gather. Compress at the lower tantin and exhale, lift the sternum. Double palms pushing the mountain. Relax the wrist and pull the chi back to the heart and reset at the heart. Okay. Turn to your right. Breathe in, brush the knee again, but this time followed by leisurely tying the coat. Right. Turn a little to your right, the left hand circles up, the right hand drops, turn to the front, turn the palms flat to the front, right in the center. Drop your shoulders and elbows and wipe down. Come into the belly button, relax, lift. The back finger is connected to the wrist. Push the wrist out. Turn the waist. Push the palm and make a big circle, big spiral. Drop the shoulder and elbow. Swivel the palms to the front. And release and hold the ball. Check that both feet are still sinking into the earth. Okay, do the left side, turn. Breathe in, brush the knee, relax, lift the sternum, expand. Turn the waist a little, turn to the left, circle the right palm up, the left palm drops, turn back to the front, drop the shoulders and elbows and make the palms flat to the front. Drop them down, you feel the back fingertips connect to the wrist, bring them into the belly button, circle the right palm up, Drop the elbows and lift right under the chin, and then extend and turn the body. Turn the waist to the left, and then big spiral to the right, right over the tailbone. Drop the shoulders and elbows. Swivel the palms to the front. Right, release. <coughs> Last section, fist under elbow. Turn to your right, press the ball, and then open. Raise the hands, height of the face, but drop the right hand. Right, turn the waist so the lower palm spins. And then turn back, the bottom hand holds the fist up and down. And keep on turning until you have the fist under the elbow. Deep breath. Exhale and turn. Let the fist push out. The palm stays by you and then the fist releases, opens, and then folds up. And turn to your right, the left hand washes down, repulse monkey. Brushing the knee, lift the sternum. Palms turn center, keep on turning to your left, repulse monkey. Right hand washes down, right hand brushes the knee. Third time, turn the palms, keep on turning to the right, left hand washing down, repulse monkey, fingertip. Brush the knee, leisurely tying the coat. Turn a little, the left hand circles up. Turn back to the front, turn the palms flat. Wipe down, come into the belly button. Rise and lift, tuck the elbow. Push and turn the waist, turn, turn, turn. Big spiral. One open and close. And then last part, repeat on the left side. Turn, open, start dropping the left hand, turn the waist, turn back, the bottom hand holds a fist, and turn until you have fist under elbow, breathing in, exhale and turn. Push the fist out and it starts to rise and then open and fold to the left. Repulse monkey. Brushing the knee. Lift. Keep on turning. Repulse monkey. 
Lift the sternum. Keep on turning. And out. Leisurely tying the coat. Right hand circles up. Body and palms turn center, wiping down. Tuck the elbows in. Lift right under the chin. Push the palm out, turn the waist. Spiral. Drop the shoulders and elbows. Swivel the palms to the front. And release. Relax. Press out, lift the sternum, breathing in, and slowly let everything go. Release the hips. Check that the legs are sinking into the earth. Check that the head is suspended from above. Check that the throat is open. You're letting everything go. Hands right at the side. Breathe in. And out. Okay, right hand, left hand. Right, so if you want, you can begin and end the set like that. Okay. Yeah, loosen up the leg. Oh, not bad. Right, we haven't seen each other for two months, right? Yeah. I'm talking about myself, not bad, I remembered. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I was telling somebody but uh, we're talking about it I talk with another student and she teaches sometimes. And I said, with the mirroring, I know I'm constantly doing the wrong side. Even though I've been doing this for years and I figured out one section, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm doing the wrong side first. I'm not going to tell you which one, but I have to think, right? I have to think if I'm standing, I'm turning that way. So this hand is up, I'm, I'm seated. So the other hand's supposed to go and I get all mixed up. Yeah, and only about a month ago, when, we, when I restarted this year in 2023, I realized, oh, I think I'm doing it backwards. And I never know until I have to get certified. And the instructor is like, the other side. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then the other disclosure is the the sequence of the set, that last two sections, um, they do it as one section. I, I like to break things up by threes. So that last section is more like six movements, and then they repeat. So that section, um, oh, let's see. That, that's from here, and the leisurely tying the coat and coming here. And then I end it. Okay. So the actual, like if you're going to get certified, you'd be like, oh, Randy really screwed me up. Because after you do the leisurely tying the coat, you don't end it here. Well, or you do this, but then, then you do one side, the fist on the elbow, and you complete that. Then you come back and repeat that section. But yeah, I just, I, my mind just works, break it up into sections of threes, yeah? It just, to me, it's easier to learn. So, only every two years I have to think really hard. And I just follow everybody else and I'm like, oh, shoots. <laughs> and then I mirror so much, yeah? That I don't know how to be where you are and, and leading with my back. Right? It's really hard or, yeah, because, and, you know, when you get certified, right, you, there's some stress involved, anxiety involved, right? So, like, I'm trying too hard and i like, ah, oh, I don't know where I am <laughs> every time. But my instructor is a, has gotten very lenient on me. <laughs> and now it's on Zoom, yeah? So it's individual. So sometimes it's like, ah, oh, don't worry, I know you know. <laughs> And then we talk about other things or we discuss other things, so. But yeah, just, I tell you that in case you go to another Tai Chi for Health class, don't you dare say, hey, you're doing it wrong. You know, Randy showed me like this. Shut up. <laughs> you're getting me in trouble. <laughs> oh, this could be on recording. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so if you go to another class, I always say, right, you go to another teacher, you do it 
the way they do it. Yeah. Oh, it used to drive me crazy, guys. Come to art class. You know, I do it like this. Like, why are you in this class? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, let's do. Let's do some. We'll finish with some standing. Um, let's see. We we'll just review the, the opening, the opening form, and then uh, uh, we'll we'll see where that goes from here. Okay. Yeah. If you have my you come in late, you leave early. Don't worry. You fall asleep. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You fall asleep and snore. Don't worry about it. You know. Just remember, we're on Zoom and I'm recording, <laughs> but the microphone is way over here, so it probably won't catch you. Yeah. Okay. So. In the standing, the, the feet are 45. The heels can be touching or just really close. And when you turn, right, you have to bend. It forces that bend. Right? If you try and stand straight, you're gonna feel the stress on the joint. So opening from the beginning forces you to bend, tells you unlock. When you do Qigong, they always tell you bend the joints. You have to bend the joints, you have to unlock for the chi to flow. If it's locked, it gets stuck. And if you scan, it's going to be like really cold, like super cold. And then down here will be cold because nothing's traveling. But if it's unlocked, the joints will always be a little cooler, right? There's just less blood flowing there, but then they'll be warm after that yeah, from there. Okay, so 45 and come down. So the first move is just picking up the hands and then bringing it in, right? Bringing it into the heart, same like we seated. But from here, as you come down, you sink a little bit more, okay? How low do you go? <laughs> more than you were standing. <laughs> In other words, you don't have to be here, right? It's not a martial arts class, it's a health class. But you want to fold more. And this, the key is not how low that you go, it's sink into this hip joint and let everything go. And then balance yourself, right? If you're rocking on your heel, you have to make that adjustment so you're, you're right in the center, your right flat foot, okay? So you bend a little bit, Drop your shoulder blades, your arms will start swinging forward, breathing in, and then sink a little and come to the heart from there. Okay. From here, you're going to shift to your right. So you really have to sink into that right hip joint, sink down, and when your left heel releases, just pick it up and just unfold it, just flex, small step, and then shift your weight forward. Roll, rolling your hands down, and at the bottom, you're going to shift into your hands. So, you come in here, when it reaches the bottom, all your weight should be shifted to your left, and then you shift into your hands. So, you move in here, and then the right foot comes up, and you gently just keep rolling and then come back to center and do an open and close, right? So from the front, okay. So from the front, right, it's just a little bend, coming up and then sinking down and shift to, shift to your right, free your left foot. So same direction as me, I'm gonna to step to the left. Okay. You step this way with your left foot and then shift, roll the ball down, all the way down, and then shift into your hands, and small step up with the right. Yeah. Small step up with the right. Where we want the feet, we want the feet in the same, the same line. So the opening, this is commencement, this is opening. Right? We're, just, we're just taking a step with the left and a step with the right, just one step up. So. The trick with the right foot is when you pick it up, right? Don't swing it forward. 
when you pick it up, just pick it straight up and just unfold and small. And that's it. See, I'm, even that already, I went too far. So you come up here, then you pick it straight up and then just unfold it. Small step, yeah, small step. Yeah. So in the beginning, after you step, right, take a peek down. <laughs> Because and, and you're going to feel like, wow, it's such a small step, right? Like, I don't feel like I'm stepping, but I'm still forward. I'm still forward. So that's the self-correction, right? All right? So this is the commencement. The, just the first three moves. Relax, sink the feet. Feel the heels to the toes sinking and resting and into the earth. And as you breathe in, begin commencement. Sink a little bit more and start shifting into the right hip. Free the left heel. Pick it straight up and just unfold. Small step. And shift to the left. Roll the ball out and down. And shift into the hands. Just pick up and unfold. Small step. It's a really short step. In and out. Now, to do the single whip, right, where are we? we're going we're gonna to step that way. Right? So, to do the single whip, you have to shift, and we want to, ideally, we want to turn. So, we're going to sit on your left and turn, and want to free your right foot, and small tap in, and then small tap out. So, now the right foot is in front, and then we press towards the right foot. And then we open. Okay. And then remember what I said? Raise, raise the palms to the height of the face. So, um, yeah, so the, the foot will be up a little bit. And then the body turns to the front. Okay. It doesn't matter which side it is. The body turns to the front, height of the face. Shoulders down, elbows down, really, really short. Okay. And then it does one tap in and then out. And then we start walking, right? So that's one. And then you have to turn your waist. And two. And turn your body. And three. Yeah. And turn your body. Yeah. See, it's so, it's so funny. I'm watching my hula teacher, right? The same, the, no, the same thing, right? Because she's the teacher. <laughs> She mirrors, right? So she's translating going the other way. That's why I don't, I don't say it. I don't, you know, I, I, like I'll call it left or right. But it, it's funny. I just realized, oh yeah, the other person who does the same thing as me, hard time being back there. And right, how you translate it? Oh, that's funny. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to point you out. <laughs> so. That's why I do it all different ways, yeah. And that's why you really have to practice by yourself so you think, oh, okay, forget everything else. <laughs> Just listen to me, <laughs> yourself. Okay, so follow from my back. We'll all go the same direction. Okay, so commencement, hands up, sink, shift to your right, step with the left, small step. Roll the ball out and down. Shift into your hands, small step with the right. Yes, yeah, like a tiny step with your right. And back at the right and then close. Okay, shift to your left and turn your waist. All right, tap the right foot in. So you have to sink into the left hip and then you can tap the right foot in and then back out and pr press and open. Raise the hand, side of the face, single whip. And then same thing, tap the right foot in. Right hand drops. So the right hand, right leg work together. Left hand, left leg work together. And then we take a step, and this is one saw. Wave hands like clouds. Right. Turn the body. You turn the body and sink into the hip joint. Then the other leg will, will free up. Okay, second time.
third time. Palms are height of the face. Okay, and then you bring the hands back, back to the heart. As you're coming back, turn a little bit to the left and then come back to center, right into an open and close. Yeah. So that last part, your hands are coming back center, right? They haven't reached the heart yet. You turn a little bit more, they're still spiraling. Then you turn back to center and they're still spiraling right back to here. So as you spiral back to here, it just flows right into an open and close. There's no stopping, okay? So, you know the Nautilus, the Fibonacci, right? That's the spiral you're making, right? So it's, right, we're here, and then it comes back, and it's turning a little bit more. It's still coming into the heart, and then it just opens right there. You just flow right into there, yes? So it's creating this spiral right here right at the heart, okay? And then let's just end, um, well, we'll end this form, we'll walk to the left. So same, same thing. Um, we'll start from the open and close. Okay, so you have to shift to your right this time, sink into your right hip and turn. Pick up the, the left foot, taps in and then out and then Press and open, raise the hands, height of the face, and sit on the right. Left hand comes down, left foot comes in, and then the hands exchange with the step. Shift and turn the waist to the left. Right foot can come in, hands exchange. One saw, cloud hands. Sink into that hip. Remember to sink into that hip joint when you're standing on one leg the whole time. Okay, and then here we go, come back to center, spiral back right into an open and close. And turn and down. Okay, okay and let's, um, Let's move down a little bit. Just stay right in your row. You can, you can push my speaker to the side. Yeah. So come down a little bit. And then we'll face this way. Then we'll a little bit off. So um, start with your hands here. Yeah. And just rest your elbows. And this, this is for centering. This is the most stable. Okay. And then, so if you're seated, practice that stepping, it's sinking into that hip, yeah? And then we just, we just practice walking down, looking straight, center, let everything go, shift to one side, sink into that hip, pick up one leg, right? Extend it forward, find the ground, and then sink down, and then shift. And then sink into the other side, and when you sink all the way, you'll feel the back leg can free. You hold this into the hip. Sink down. Let this go and then shift. Yeah. Yeah. And you actually, while you're sinking into the hip, right, in the first you start flexing this muscle, but you find that you actually have to let it go. You have to relax. That's the sung. So when you sung, Right? Only the muscles that need to activate will get activated. Everything else is relaxed. So you have efficient motion. Yeah, you don't rush, right? Sink and then shift. Right? Don't rush the move. In the ground, sink, relax, and then move. Yeah. Okay. And then turn this way. And when we walk back, when we walk back, I want you to use, um, instead of just walking straight, I want you to do more circle type. So as you're coming up, the foot comes in and gently brushes, the ankle gently brushes and then comes out. And then you come in, the ankle gently brushes and then comes out. So you're gonna stimulate the kidney channel when you brush the ankle. Yeah? 
So if you're seated, same, same thing while you're walking in place. Right? While you're walking in place, just let that brush come out and then come back. Right? Brush, come out, and then come back. Yeah. And just really light. It's going to create a little vibration. Yeah. So we'll walk back this way and have that little um, crescent shape. Yeah, from there. So we face this way. <clears throat> okay. So same thing, just shifting, bring the ankles together, brush, come up and then open. Yeah. And then shift and then bring the ankles together, brush and then open and step. Yeah. Relax the hip, feel the hip swiveling. Feel the pelvic joint swiveling when you move. You have to be really relaxed. Just take your time. And no tension in the upper body. Yeah, take a few more steps. Keep on going, keep on going. Just take your time. Yeah. Resist the temptation to lift your body. Force yourself to sink, sink into your hip. Yeah. Force yourself to sink into that hip joint. Smile inside, laugh. Don't be too serious. <laughs> okay. Okay, come back to center. Ah, so nice, nice way to start the new year of the rabbit. Anybody seen any rabbits around? <laughs> you know, I'm, su I'm such a local boy, right? We go up to the mainland and, oh, look at the rabbit running around the rose field. And I want to, you know, that's the Hawaii boy, like, hey, let's go chase the rabbit. <laughs> Everybody else, funny, he's never seen a rabbit before. <laughs> And I know all of you have done this every first time you left Hawaii and saw a squirrel. Oh, that mongoose get long tail, yeah? <laughs> I know everybody, every Hawaii person has done that, right? Like, look at that mongoose get long tail. And then it stands up and the tail folds and oh, the, oh, the squirrel's so cute. Let's go. <laughs> well, you guys not from around here, right? <laughs> ah, okay, shake everything out. Yeah, bounce up and down. A little bit, loosen up all the joints. Yeah, heavy. Shake everything out. Same thing, bottom of the feet relaxed. All the joints relax. Okay, turn a little bit. Just let the arms swing a little bit. And this one you have to bend down a little bit so that the joints can move. Shake out again, yeah. So shake down, and then turn your palm and shake down, yeah. And then lift and out, and lift and out, like shaking out water, yeah. Out, and then turn your palm like you're shaking off water, like you're splashing water at, yeah, away from you, yeah. Okay, yeah. As you just shake, you feel everything shake. When you go up and down, you want inside shaking. Right? All the organs, everything. Yeah, shaking. Ah, okay. Cupping. Yeah, shoulder, arm. Outside. Kidneys. Ah. All right, bring the hands up. Right, extend the legs and bring them back. Rest your palms on your legs. Look straight forward and gently close your eyes just a little bit. Open the throat. Feel the lower belly expanding and contracting. Throat is open. 
Relax all the facial muscles around your face, the eyes, the forehead, the cheeks, the jaws. Think of your heart, the center of your chest, the little sun in your chest, warm and cool and smile. Develop, develop that feeling of smiling just by thinking about it. And then just, just let the sound of the bell vibrate through your body. Slowly open your eyes, rub your hands together. Ah, yeah, move your legs around, move your joints. Ah, warm up your eyes. So don't lose that feeling of smiling. Yeah, comb your hair with your fingertips front to back, massage your scalp. And tap the back of your neck, up and down the spine and then pull those muscles away. Just the fingertips, drop your shoulders and elbows. Okay, pull those muscles away. Turn your head. Move your head up and down while you're doing this. Get all the way up to the base of the skull, the top of your spine, and just, just work it down. Warm up, warm up your facial muscles. <sighs> hey, so welcome back everybody. Gongin Fa Choi. Take a deep breath and sigh. <sighs> okay. All right, right hand, your right hand opposite for me, your right hand, left hand. All right, thank you everybody. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I don't know, were you able to, oh, Okay, Hanukkah has golf for all of you, maybe. <laughs>